Uh, can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N- not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. The meaning of the word woman is so unclear and controversial that you can't give me a definition? Senator, in my work as a judge, what I do is I address disputes. If there's a dispute about a definition, people make arguments and I look at the right. law and I decide. Well, so I'm not... The fact that you can't give me a straight answer about something as fundamental as what a woman is underscores the dangers of the kind of progressive education that we are hearing about. Just last week, an entire generation of young girls watched as our taxpayer-funded institutions permitted a biological man to compete and beat a biological woman in the NCAA Swimming Championships. What message do you think this sends to girls who aspire to compete and win in sports at the highest levels? Senator, I'm not sure what message that sends. If if you're asking me about the legal issues related to it, um, those are topics that are being hotly discussed, as you say, and could come to the court. Justice Jackson? So my biggest concern is that your view has the First Amendment hamstringing the government in significant ways in the most important time periods. Um, I mean, what what would you have the government do? I've heard you say a couple times that the government can post its own speech, but in my hypothetical, um, you know, kids, this is not safe, don't do it, um, is not going to get it done. And so I guess some might say that the government actually has a duty to take steps to protect the citizens of this country, and you seem to be suggesting that that duty cannot manifest itself in the government encouraging or even pressuring uh, platforms to take down harmful information. So can you help me? Because I'm really, I'm, I'm really worried about that um, because you've got the First Amendment operating um, in an environment of threatening circumstances from the government's perspective, and you're saying that the government can't interact with the source of th- those problems. The big takeaway today was Katanji Brown Jackson when she said to the Solicitor General from Louisiana, she said, you've got the First Amendment hamstringing the government. Well, that's what it's supposed to do, for goodness sake. It was literally one of the craziest things I've ever seen, that you could have a justice on the United States Supreme Court say that in, an, in the oral argument. Mean, it made no sense to me. That is frightening because if she really believes that. That, that is scary where we're headed. Understand what took place here. This was censorship by surrogate. This was big government telling big tech to take down speech they disagreed with. And it was the most fundamental kind of speech. It was political speech, the kind that's supposed to have the most heightened scrutiny you can have before you can take that down. But that's what took place. And then to have a justice on the Supreme Court say what she said, that is frightening. <laughs>
I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true international under pressure. watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out my other videos. Please visit my website at samstwitch.com. My Twitter profile is at samstwitch underscore sam. My YouTube channel is at youtube.com backslash samstwitch. I post videos that I cannot post on YouTube on my BitChute channel at bitshoot.com backslash samstwitch.